it's, it's still a car. Anyway, so later that week, I got to drive this uh, XC40 recharge because Volvo invited a bunch of the media to experience the, the XC40 recharge. And I was particularly excited to do so because I haven't had the chance to experience an EV on Malaysian public roads before. And uh, number two, you know, it's a Volvo electric car. They pride themselves on sustainability and electric mobility. They've got a very good reputation all around the world for developing electric powertrains. And mm -hmm. also they own Polestar, which is, you know, an electric performance car brand. We also went to a, a little farm on a hill. I don't know if you guys have been there before. You, you might need to narrow it down a little bit. I'm guessing there might be a few farms on a little hill. Or is <laughs> it called point. a farm on a hill? It is called a little farm on a hill. Oh, okay. okay. As if you guys didn't know. No, we didn't know. We didn't know. <laughs> no, no, genuinely didn't know. <laughs> well, it's literally, it's in Janabai. So the whole drive was planned around um, getting from Shah Alam to Janabai and back. Um, oh. Yeah, so it was very interesting because we drove, I think, about 180 kilometers that day. The car was still well charged, really dispelled any uh, range anxiety. Mm -hmm. But... Um, First, I want to start off with the impressions of the regular XC40 because it's uh, when we reviewed it, it was we called it, you know, the class leader. Since then, obviously, the Mercedes GLA is the current class leader, but still, it's a very, very fantastic car. It's a small, chunky-looking crossover with ounces of quality and plenty of space in the cabin and the boot. It had good ride, stable at high speeds, has all the tech and safety included as well. And I sort of saw it as like a, you know, perfect for an urban dweller. Big city, mm -hmm. sprawling city. Though I had one problem with it, particularly the petrol version, the T5, and that was the powertrain. It had a two liter four cylinder turbo with an eight speed gearbox, which I didn't quite like. It had a good amount of power, but very, very little in character. And it was a bit rattly, you know, compared to the Volvo interior, which is super soft, super minimalist. Mm -hmm. Sometimes when you're sitting at traffic light, it just, just feels like it's vibrating too much. Um, but with this recharge, essentially you're taking out, taking that out of the equation and then replacing it with an EV powertrain that promises to be everything but boring and unrefined.